Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again today. So, just want to show you guys some of the mob armor gear that I um, ended up picking up for the iPad that I bought. Um, so I bought an iPad Pro 12.9 inch on Sunday. And then I went over to uh, TJM and picked up some of this mob armor gear that I said I was going to go and get back when I showed you guys some of the uh, the phone holders and stuff that mob armor does. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the description um, of some of the mob armor phone stuff that I have for the F250. Um, so yeah, I bought an iPad 12.9 inch just for doing some um, CAD stuff and also for the channel just to edit some videos and stuff like that on the fly when I'm when I'm um, out and about so anyway let's get into it so this is uh, Mobama's kind of first original design um, this is one of their phone phone holders so this is the one that I had in the last video um, so this doesn't have the 90 degree just here so this is just basically a swivel so it uses a magnet you get these uh, magnetic plates you stick that to your dash of your vehicle and then the magnet on the back of here sticks to that and you can have your phone in the cradle. Um, and then they've stepped up again and they've gone to then these Mobnetics they're called. So these are just a swivel head. They come in this one and they also come in a 90 degree as well. And you basically, yeah, same thing. Put the metal plate to your dash or on anything you want, your Polaris, um, basically anywhere. And you stick this to it. Stick your phone to it. Um, that's my phone there with the mob armor plate on the back. They give you these metal plates. That sticks to that. And then your phone will stick to your dash when you mount a metal plate to your dash. So what I got for the iPad is I got this suction cup plate. So this, this can go on your window or it can go basically anywhere that you could use a suction cup. And then I'll show you this guy's big brother for the iPad. <laughs> this one here so you can see the size comparison between the mobile one and the ipad one and this is the 90 degree as you can see just there this head here swivels all the way around to 90 degrees so you can have your ipad at 90 degrees um, or however you desire but they also make this mobnetic in the same 90 degree one as well now so yeah, you can uh, mix it up a bit, but um, just the size of that and the size of these magnets to hold an iPad. I've got a bunch of metal stuff here. It's all going to go crazy. And then, so that basically sticks to that if that's on your, on your window. So you stick that up on your window. Stick your iPad to that. Um, I have the same plates just here on my iPad. iPad will stick to that. And then... Yeah, happy days, you've got your iPad up on the window. Or you can then, they also give you these um, steel mounts. So you can stick these steel mounts basically anywhere. Your dash, um, in your camper trailer, in anywhere, your four-wheel drive, anywhere you want. And then basically instead of using the uh, suction cap one, I won't put it all the way on there, guys, because I won't get it back off. So... Um, they have a massive pull force. I forget the specs of these things, but um, it is quite significant. Um, but then, if you want the pull force to be even more, take the rubber off, and you can like you can hear that click how gnarly that is. So it's <laughs> super hard to get it back apart. But um, definitely not going to come off when you're four wheel driving, or off roading, or overlanding, and all that good stuff. So basically, that's that's the one that I that I'm using at the moment for the iPad in in my truck. Um, so I've got the iPad just here. So basically that sticks to there like that. And uh, you've got the metal plate on the back there. So that's that guys. And then if you want to go to the next level again, you can actually get one of these cradles, which will basically holds the iPad inside here clamp it down on your iPad and then you can mount that it's got a mag magnet here you can basically mount that any direction any what way so like an iPad mini would be absolutely perfect in that stick this plate up on your dash stick that to that and then have like your off-road maps iPad mini on your dash while you're off-road and doing the trails and stuff like that so 
super cool guys i actually i love this bloody brand they make such cool stuff and it's so basic and so easy and so simple and yet it works fantastic so when you buy the stuff it, it just comes in a box like this um, you get some stickers and stuff and some other plates and bits and pieces depending on what kit you buy so this the the tab netic here that's the big one so you'll get the um you'll get two of these plates you'll get one mounting plate for the device that's one that one there that goes on the back of the ipad and then you'll also get um your tab netic also obviously so so in australia um at tjm this retails for 160 dollars so definitely not cheap um you could probably try and get them online maybe um i couldn't i couldn't find them online um and plus mob armor won't ship to australia due to the fact that they um have a dealer here in australia and it'd just be undercut in the australia the australian dealer so but they're definitely on facebook uh, mob armor australia and stuff like that if you're interested in getting one so you get this little card here it says below 50 degrees fahrenheit no bond so you want to make sure that your temperature is higher than that before you try and bond it and um yeah just use uh alcohol wipe to clean the surface and then apply the disc and it says uh press hard for about a minute and then to uh let it set overnight before you go attaching anything anything heavy to it like the tabnetic magnet or anything like that so just to let it cure um another thing i've found is that these discs, I actually had to add a section in here because it is summer in Australia right now and it was up oh, well past 35 degrees the other day. Um, but inside the car, it would have been well over 50, 50 degrees, 60 degrees inside the car. And um, when I come back, the, um, the plate was actually kind of a quarter off. This stuff was just peeling off, but like, I don't think you're going to avoid that unless you wanted to screw this to your dash. So I ended up cleaning mine again properly. I put a full 3M cover over this, including this section here, stuck that to the dash, and we had the same temperature again today, and, and it didn't come off. So, um, yeah, just fill that in before you go and stick it if you if you do are in a hot climate. So, yeah, guys, basically just cover that, and you should have no issues. So... Um, I'm also waiting on, I've just got a photo on my phone here. This is one of the uh, covers for the iPad that I bought for the 12.9 inch. So I've bought that cover, just waiting for that to come in. It's a full metal surround. And then you also get this plate, which actually mounts into the back of that. And then that plate will then attach to these. So that way, when you put your case on there, you're all good to go. So, and you can see how tight that is. It's actually jamming my finger. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Don't do that. But like, listen to this, guys. Ready? Bang! Like, freaking get stuck hard, and then like, ready? Ow! <laughs> Don't get your fingers stuck. That was freaking purple. So they got a lot of force there, guys. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for this video. So sorry I couldn't uh, do the video on the weekend with the Ranger versus General. I'll be doing that this weekend. I had to uh, help a buddy with his yard last weekend, so um, I had to work. So these things come up, and these things happen. So um, I'll be definitely doing that video this weekend for you guys. And then um, looking forward to next weekend. Going to try and get these uh, front spaces in the Ranger Raptor. So anyway, guys. I'll uh, see you on the next one. Catches.